Demetrius Johnson, once again, with the flyweight title on the line. Beautiful combination by Demetrius. Oh, how good is this? Ariasso putting it all together. A big right hand there. Chris Carrasso is a professional athlete. He's a kickboxing champion. He's been competing in a bigger level just as long as I had. So I'm sure he's been in this territory before. And that makes me excited to fight something like that than fighting a person I already fought before. And it's a different challenge. Chris Kamikaze Carrasso is a wild fighter. He's throwing hammers here. My goal in life is always to be the best at, at what I do. And here I am. I got myself in the right place at the right time to get this shot. Opportunity knocking now for Chris Carriasso. Demetrius is fast. He's in and out. He's got a lot of footwork. You know, he has a lot of movement. We have a great contrast of styles. And for me, that's an awesome matchup. Demetrius Johnson's technique is second to none. Big shots by the champion. Johnson has superhuman stamina. Demetrius has a lot of weapons on the outside, from leg kicks to punches, high volume striker. Oh! Wow. Big right hand! Perfect shot! He does everything at such a high speed. Demetrius Johnson keeps it perfect all the time, and that's why he's such a dominant champion. I'm only gonna get better from me, I'm dangerous. I'm here to show that I'm the best 125 in the world. Fighting is fighting, whether it's for a title or not. And I love to compete. Once I start competing, I watch tape on somebody, and I'm like, I can't wait to compete. I wanna get in there and fight. I, I wanna see the lights on me. I wanna get in there and go to work. Fighting is 25% physical, 75% mental. And if your mental capacity isn't there, then you're not gonna be at your best. And each time I fight, I wanna be my best. So I'm confident that the training that my camp put me through is gonna make me very successful and to get this W. It always gets harder finishing your opponents to get top higher, especially in the flyweight division. If you look at all the divisions in the UFC or mixed martial arts in the world, the lighter weight guys, the top 10 guys are way more well-rounded than the top 10 guys in heavyweight. Every single guy in my weight class can do everything. So if you're gonna knock someone out, you gotta do it quick and you gotta be skillful at it. Demetrius Johnson really has the skills that can keep him the champion for a very long time, but Chris Carriasso coming in here as an underdog has nothing to lose, and he is a definite threat to the title of Demetrius Johnson. You know, being an underdog motivates me even more. It makes me want to go out there and win and show these people that I am better than what they think. Kerry is all about tough, and we've seen that in the octagon. I have nothing to lose, and he has everything to lose. And anybody that has nothing to lose is a dangerous person to have in front of you. And I'm coming for him. Oh, what a left hand! Chris Carriasso has always been a very dangerous striker. What he's been adding into his game for his last few fights is more volume to his striking. So because of that, he's become more dangerous. I'm kind of a game killer, you know, and that's my style. They have this certain game, and then I, all of a sudden, I'm shutting it down. This dude has dynamite in his fist. I'm a more powerful striker than he is. I have jiu-jitsu off my back. I have jiu-jitsu up top game jiu-jitsu. I have a game that will shut his game down. Chris Carriasso is on a three-fight winning streak. He's got bad intentions. He kicks he fights hard, he fights hard. He's gonna go out there and he's gonna fight as if his life depends on it. It's gonna be 25 minutes, high pace, non-stop. I'm not gonna let this one slip away, you know? If this is my career, I'm here to fight, and I'm gonna be a champion of this. One thing we know from watching UFC fights and title fights in the UFC is that anything can happen. We saw that with TJ Dillashaw against Henan Burrell. Unbelievable! One of the best examples I have ever seen all my years of watching mixed martial arts. What an incredible performance. TJ was very impressive, and for me, it just shows everybody that you can't count anybody out. He set the bar, so it's my turn to set the bar. Every single time you step in Octagon, you have to be on. And my mindset, I just focus where I go out there and execute the game plan and hopefully come away with the belt. He is the fastest man in MMA. When the ref says fight, I'm kicking him really freaking hard in the body. I have to hurt him. That is some serious power! It's easier to get to the big show, but it's a lot harder to stay here. I want that belt around my waist. I'm the king. I'll stay the king as long as I can, and I'm gonna keep on knocking him down, man. When you hear Eddie Alvarez is gonna fight Donald Cerrone, if you're a fight fan, you just go, when? When is this gonna happen? The UFC signing Eddie Alvarez is huge because for years, Eddie Alvarez has been ranked in the top three as a lightweight. 
Eddie Alvarez has won belts in several other organizations, and we're going to find out if he's the real deal. I'm not here to just compete. I'm, I'm here to win. I'm here to be dominant, and people are going to see that. I want to make it clear to everyone, I'm here to be the champion. Alvarez packing some serious power behind those punches. Eddie, you know, is going to bring it for sure. You know, he's coming over from Bellator. He's got a lot of hype behind him, but I get to welcome Eddie to the UFC. So I uh, hope you train really hard. I feel like the UFC couldn't have made a better matchup for me walking in. I fare the best when I'm against a guy like this. When I'm standing there staring across at Eddie, I cannot wait. I just think in my head, ring the bell, mother. Let's go. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is one of the most active, exciting, aggressive fighters in the UFC, period. The guy loves to fight, and it shows inside the octagon. Oh, oh, he knocked him down the jab! I think a lot of people think that I'm kidding when I say that, like anyone, anywhere, you know? It's just how I am, how I, I've always been, you know? I'd fight literally every weekend if I could. He is yet to fight for the UFC title, but he's always been that close. Cerrone is on a roll right now. He's got the momentum, the consistency, and the training to go out there and win a belt. He's really finding his style. He's really finding his rhythm and his groove. And when a fighter finds that, that's when he's really dangerous. We've been setting new records every fight. It motivates me to want to take it to the next level, to make the most bonuses ever in UFC, to have the most wins in UFC. He's a finisher. He's a guy who wants to go out there and beat you by submission or knock you out. There's a reason why he has so many win bonuses. And there's a reason why he has so many performance bonuses. My legacy, what Cowboy wants, is for you out there sitting watching TV saying, Cowboy's fighting tonight, pull it over. We got to watch. Don't care who he's fighting. I know that some bitch is bringing it. That is why MMA is so exciting. So we have a guy who's on a tremendous hot streak versus a guy who has a lot to prove and is such an amazing fight. Eddie Alvarez is an outstanding fighter. He has the potential to be the UFC lightweight champion, but Eddie Alvarez has yet to prove that against UFC caliber fighters. I'm just excited to be in the UFC because it's been a huge question everyone's had, oh, how would he stack up with this guy, that guy? And now I'm actually able to grab these guys and get my hands on them and dominate them. Eddie Alvarez wants the boss even as He has devastating power, and he is ridiculously aggressive. Eddie has a lot of experience, been in a lot of tough fights, and he comes to fight. And when people come to fight, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know who's going to win, or we're going to see something special, you know? I've rarely ever let fights go to the judges. He's the same sort of fighter. This is a fight for the fans. Living up to all the hype. You're looking at a fight tonight right there with uh, Alvarez trying to use his movement, try to get some angles on Cowboy, and Cowboy walking him down and kicking him in the head. I think the matchup between these two guys is going to be really exciting. Whoever wins this is going to be kind of on the top of the lightweight ladder. There's a lot of really talented guys at 155, but there's no one better at giving damage and taking damage than myself. And that's why I'll be number one. I will be the UFC lightweight champion. No hard feelings to Eddie. I'm going to beat that ass, and I'm going to go about my business. So uh, thank you for stepping the fight. <laughs> Big right hand. Oh, look at him finish the fight. One punch knockout. Fantastic. That's just nasty. He's in big trouble. Firing away. Oh. He attacked him again. Big shot. He's hurt. It is all over. There's not a man alive that can beat me. Oh, my God. Unbelievable! I am so fired up for this fight. Somebody 